and welcome to a review that I'm super excited about for many different reasons, but I have got a drugstore ink eyeliner here. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. One of my dear friends, Vianna V, she has a YouTube channel here if you want to check her out. She sent this to me for my birthday, which just like, ah, thank you, and she swears by this absolutely swears by this, as does a lot of just the beauty community in general. And it's supposed to be like epically better than Kat Von D's tattoo liner. Yeah, okay, so I'm just, I'm very excited to test this out with you guys. Super cheap drugstore product, but like I said, supposed to perform better than higher end Sephora stuff. So let's go ahead, hop on over to NYX's website. We can read about the liner really quick and then we can go ahead and put it on my eyes, which are in desperate need of some liner and mascara. So here we go. Like I said, this is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It is only $8 and you only get one choice of color, so you gotta want black and that's okay because that's exactly what I want. It says that this has got a slender and supple brush tip. It's an intensely pigmented waterproof pen that lets you achieve black liquid lines effortlessly. Every stroke is unbelievably fluid for a defined finish. Fine and natural, broad and bold, the look is always up to you. So yeah, I mean that's it. Short, sweet, simple, to the point. I'm excited. Hot to the point because it's a pointy liner pen. Okay, let's go ahead before I make any more bad jokes. Sing the song together and then we can go ahead and line my eyes with this. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. So, like I said, there's only one color choice. It's called Black Noir. And here it is, super simple and unassuming looking, but sometimes those are the ones. Those are the ones that get ya. It's not always about the pretty package. It's what's on the inside that counts. Just shaking this up to make sure the ink is nice and flowing. Let's see. I mean, it does look like the Kat Von D liner. There, can you see that? I had never heard a company talk about a liner being supple before, or a brush being supple, but that's what they said, and I'm curious to find out. So, let's go ahead, we'll zoom you in here, and I'm just gonna go for it, as I normally do. Whew! I mean, that really did just glide on. Nice. Nice. <laughs> it's working out well. Have I just had like this huge drop of sweat going down my forehead this whole time though? God, my cuteness level is just off the charts today. Sorry, I couldn't talk you through that. It's been a while since I've done a wing without my vamp stamp, but I think that turned out all right. I am a little concerned. It looks like it's kind of bleeding a bit or like feathering out. Yeah, do you see what I'm talking about? Like on that inner portion there? My instinct is to add more, but that will not help, Cassie. That will not help. <laughs> so let's see, for this eye, I will do it while you guys are zoomed in so you can maybe see it apply a little better. Lordy, I hope you were in frame. <laughs> so there you go, there it is. It looks like it bled less on this one than that one. I don't know, but I was definitely able to get that crisp wing both sides. I suppose, let me put on mascara real quick. <laughs> All right, there, much more complete looking, much better. Overall, I'm impressed with the eyeliner, aside from that bit of feathering or whatever we're gonna want to call it, bleeding. I think it looks really good. It definitely glided on very well. What I really liked about it and that I've always hated about the Kat Von D liner is that I didn't have to like do a line and then shake it. Do a line and then shake it. You know, this one it was just, I could just line, 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 line no problems. And then also what I really liked is something else that I don't like about the Kat Von D liner. I do really like the Kat Von D liner, don't get me wrong, but I hate it that once that one is set and like it dries down, and it dries down pretty quickly, you can't draw over it. I mean you can, but it gets really like skippy and weird if you do that. But this one, I was able to go over things and add more and all of that. So this was basically all of the things that I don't like about the Kat Von D one 
made better. So I'm very excited. I really, really hope that this ends up lasting throughout the day. I have very watery eyes, so being waterproof, that is definitely a must. I'm really not doing anything like fun vlog worthy today, so I don't know how much vloggy footage there's gonna be. I'm just getting a lot of filming done here, and then I'm going over to my mom's house. I'm probably gonna be working a little bit while I'm over there, and then just kind of relaxing with her, having dinner, and then I'm gonna come home and get a bunch of editing done. I might run to the grocery store at some point, but we shall see. But that's about it for today. But it'll still be a day. We're still gonna be able to put this to the test. And as always, I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. It's currently 1.22 in the afternoon. That is it for now. And I will just check in with you guys whenever it is pertinent to do so next. So I will see you all very soon here on YouTube land. Bye. <laughs> It's the end of the night here. I'm sorry you guys, I told you vloggy footage was mm -mm, mm -mm. I, mean, I was filming all this afternoon. I went to my mom's place, hung out, and then I came home and I edited two videos. Like that literally that's all I've been doing. Oh, I went to the grocery store. I had to pick up some of my silk yogurt and I had to pick up some strawberries and I had to pick up some energy bars. It was a very exciting grocery run. So exciting that I didn't vlog it. <laughs> so I apologize for that, but hopefully, you know, you enjoyed those little bits that I did include. Maybe? Okay. It is currently 2.43 in the morning. <gasps> Happiness. Happiness is this right here. Look, you guys. There's been a reason I haven't checked in with you today. My eyeliner looks exactly the same. What, 12? 12, 12 hours? 13 hours? I don't. I don't do math anymore, you guys. I'm not in school anymore. Just kidding. But my lipstick was messed up, wasn't it? <laughs> so cute. But look at, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is a crisp line still. I mean, for the most part, aside from the feathering I had. And then also I've got a little bit of fading just because I do have to kind of dab at my eyes quite a bit throughout the day. First of all, this contact has just been driving me bonkers. And then second, like I mentioned, I have very watery eyes. But look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, yes. That is a drugstore winner. Kat Von D who? What? I don't know that I will ever feel the need to spend that much money on an eyeliner again. Especially when I just felt like this one was easier to use. We'll see, you know, if the feathering and stuff keeps on happening. I'm hoping, I don't know, if maybe that's like a first time fluke or something, but you guys will definitely probably, I should, that's like such a huge oxymoron, isn't it? You guys, I'm sure, will be seeing this product in my Best and Worst of Beauty at the end of the month, so I'll be able to give you a more detailed report and everything then. But for now, I just feel like that is such a minor thing, like, especially from far away. Can you even tell that it bled a little bit? That I really... Bullet proof. Wouldn't that be awesome if it just, like, crumbled off? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I can rub it in my eye and it doesn't look like that is going anywhere. So yay! Props to V! Thank you so much once again for sending this to me. Props to the beauty community for knowing that this is a wonderful product and no props to me, I guess, for taking this long to test it out. I mean, I feel like I don't really need to do my pause system just in the sense that I think you guys can see I really like this liner. But there were some little things, so let's go ahead. Let's give you my numerical perspective on things. P stands for performance, A is for application, W is for worth the price, and S is for shade range. For performance, I've got to give it a 5 out of 5. It did absolutely beautifully, I think, anyways. Or here. Because I had a little bit of fading in the inner corners, and I feel like my Kat Von D one does not do that, I'll give it a 4.75 out of 5 on the performance. For application, I'm going to give it a 4.5 just because of that bleeding, but otherwise, it was so good. It was so good. Like, just a delight to apply this. And for worth the price, oh, for sure. For sure. 5 out of 5. And then for shade range, unfortunately, I'm gonna go ahead and definitely, 
I feel like I have to dock it because I mean I don't think liquid liners need to come in a million different colors but I do think you know a black yes and then you know a brown maybe a blue maybe like a couple other things especially when NYX is so known I feel like for putting out really good shade ranges I feel like I really have to dock it on the shade range and just give it a one because there's one shade available. So overall, this pause rating is not that great. It's getting a 15.25 out of 20 or a 3.8125 out of five pause. So not the best, but the things that are knocking it down really mainly are the shade range. So if you are looking for a black, and I feel like this is pretty dang matte, I don't see any sort of shine or anything where I have applied this ink liner. So if you're looking for a matte black ink pen type of a liner. So good. <laughs> like, I would probably recommend this one over the Kat Von D. Like I said, I want to play with it a little more just to see about this bleeding. I would also love to hear from you guys if you had the same experience with bleeding at all with this product. But overall, I just think, especially if you're on a budget or if you just like being frugal and you like saving your money and spending it where it needs to be spent rather on things that don't need to be spent on, you know, you can find something cheaper at the drugstore type of a thing. You know, it takes all kinds. So, as always, I just hope this review was helpful and or enjoyable for you guys to see whether or not this eyeliner is something you are going to want to check out for yourself in the future. If it was, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of the Casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!